and you're going to be wanting to make some dinner. Now you've got your zoodles down, you've got your big salad, you have whatever you're going to have, but you might even just have some vegetables to dip. What you're going to want, you need lots of greens. Greens in the evening help you really to settle down, you know what I mean? What you're going to need are some dressings. I've got a couple of dressings and dips coming at you. Here they go. This I'm making right now, I was doing it live, but I made a something spilled. I had to start over. Okay, so this is half of an avocado, two tablespoons lemon juice, half of a medium zucchini, one tablespoon of Fiesta Lime Mrs. Dash, and one stalk of celery. Let me finish blending it. This is really tasty. <laughs> zucchini stuck in the bottom of this. That's what a while ago it um never stick your hand down in the Vitamix. This is a bad idea. Okay. I'm sure there's a tool for that that you could buy, you know. Oh there we go. had about one-fourth of a cup of water. This is really good. That's really good. This will be good on eating bitter greens or um, dinosaur kale massaged in there. If you're not really crazy about kale or, or um, you know, pungent greens, you can really um, massage them with like a dressing. That is very messy because I already spilled a while ago, but see the consistency of that? It's really good. So watch, I'm, I'm making these three dressings. Two of them are dressings and one of them is a dip. And I'm just going to have them in my refrigerator the last a few days, especially if you put like um, a citrus juice in there, acid. So I'll just put them in these little bottles right here and it's ready to go, you know, for whenever I want that. Makes it quick and easy. Okay, so I had already made, um, before I made my big spill a while ago, my favorite standby dressing, which I'll tell you what that was. Right here, it looks like this. This, y'all have seen me make this before. It's the magical French dressing, though, of goodness and glory that will only bring you to the next level, not down, you know? Dressings are what, this is what really gets people. If you're going to go out to eat at night and you're going to go out with your friends or whatever, pack your dressing in your purse, you know. Bring your dressing along, guys. If I saw a guy do that, I would think, this dude rocks. That's what I would think. So what this is is four to five of your little small red peppers. Um, Five of the, the small ones in the pack. And, um, you know, like five of they're about this size. And then four if they're bigger, you know, and then one mango. Blend that up, and I put a little bit, I have this new kind of basil, it's called cinnamon basil, and I put a small little palm full of that, I'm growing that out in my, I'm going to call it my herb garden, but it's like three little pots out there, then I've got my chia herb garden in here, but it looks like this, It this stuff tastes just like French dressing, it's really good, it looks just like it, it's, this is so good, that, that cinnamon basil, this has a very unique and beautiful flavor. So there you go. Um, so that's two. See right there? All right. The third thing we're going to make is we're going to make this creamy dip. So we're going to take about, it's this much. Let's just call it a cup and a half of cauliflower, which I love to use for a base. I've been making the biggest mess in my kitchen lately, which is what it's for, you know. Okay, then I'm going to have this other half of this avocado that I just did. See, this is a good way, like if you're um, raw Megan in there of Megan and Josh, then like instead of storing your avocado, you could go ahead and just blend it up. And you don't have to worry about is it going bad or whatnot. So there we go, into the blender. Um, what 
else do we want to put? Let's see. Okay, let's put a little bit of lemon juice, which I always like with the avocado. Let's put, I don't know, two tablespoons. Then, let's put um, a little bit of dehydrated onion flakes. If you don't use these, then guess what? Don't use them. Okay, minced onions. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there. And then let's put, um, you know, it's just a base. You can kind of put whatever whatever spices you want. I like paprika because it gives it a cheesy flavor. Okay, put about a tablespoon of that in there. Let's see. We might need a little bit of water. Let's see if we don't first. Let's try to make it dip. And then if you want a dressing, then add some water, right? I know I'm brilliant like that. See? <laughs> okay, hold on. Tastes like some kind of cheesy hummus. Look at that. So, here's the thing. I'm going to put this in my container, and that makes three of those dressings right there. A dip and two dressings, or three dressings if you want to put a little more water. It's that simple. Bam, bam, bam. It didn't cost me a lot. All the things I bought, I got on sale, you know. So, there you have it. Fast and easy, and three recipes for y'all. I saw my reflection in the snow covered hills till the last light. I do love y'all.